Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. I am Som Shekhar and I am back with the next concept of a CAN protocol that is CAN frame formats. Let's begin with the frame formats. There are two types of CAN frame formats. The standard CAN frame format and extended CAN frame format. First, we will see the structure of standard data frame. The standard data frame consists of seven fields. As you can see in this picture, the seven fields start of frame field and arbitration field, control field, data field, CRC field, ACK field and acknowledgement field and end of frame. Now let's understand the purpose of each field. Let's begin with the first field start of frame. SOF marks the start of any CAN frame. It is always dominant bit and it furnishes the falling edge for odd synchronization of transmitter and receiver. As you can see in this picture, SOF is always dominant. So, this is indicated as zero. I have just given a short notes about the SOF. Just go through this. The next field is arbitration field. You can see in this picture, arbitration field. The arbitration field consists of 11 bit identifier and OTR bit. 11 bit identifier and OTR bit is shown in this diagram. As we already discussed about identifier in properties of CAN protocol, identifier does not indicate the destination of the message. Instead, it indicates the meaning and content of the message. In addition to this, it helps to decide the priority of the message. Arbitration field also consists of RTR bit, stands for remote transmission request and it will be always dominant in standard data frame. Friends, here I have given a notes about arbitration field. Just go through this. The next field is control field. The control field consists of six bits. As you can see in this picture, it comprises of IDE or not DLC 0 to DLC 3. The IDE bit stands for identifier extension and it is always dominant bit for the standard data frame. DLC stands for data length code. You can see in this picture, it is of 4 bits. This DLC bits or data length code of 4 bits is used to indicate how many data bytes are transmitted and it may take values from 0 to 8. Other values are not allowed. This is just a short notes about the control field. The next field is data field. The data field comprises of I sorry, the data field comprises of actual information which is to be transmitted. The number of data bytes may vary from 0 to 8 bytes and the transmission starts with the MSB first. Whether it has to transmit MSB or LSB first, it depends on which format frame uh, which byte format is used whether it is Intel, Intel format or Motorola format. The next field is CRC field. As you can see in this picture, the CRC field consists of 15 bit CRC field and this is followed by delimiter. CAN uses 15 bit cyclic redundancy check or CRC code for error detection and the used polynomial generator is x to the power of 15, x to the power of 14, x to the power of 10, x to the power of 8, x to the power of 7 plus x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 plus x sorry plus 1. This polynomial generator whatever you can see in this slide is selected by system engineers based on its error detecting capabilities. CRC field delimiter marks the end of CRC field as you can see in this picture and it is fixed form of field and it is decisive bit always. The next field is ACK field. The acknowledgement field comprises of two bits. 
you can see in this picture ACK slot and ACK delimiter acknowledgement bit can be dominant or recessive but the ACK delimiter marks the end of the acknowledgement field and it is always recessive this is just short notes about ACK field the last field is end of frame end of frame consists of seven recessive bits as you can see in this picture seven recessive bits and it marks the end of the data frame it follows ACK field as you can see in this picture and preceded by IFS or interframe save interframe space what is interframe space we will see in our next videos for queries please leave a comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel secrets of automotive industry and hit thumbs up thank you all